What is up guys? My name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, we got a crazy day today. I I rebuilt. I basically redid my Traxxas Haas. Super excited about that. I got to show you guys some upgrades that I did, some of the changes I made because they're pretty cool. Also, the other day when I went to a Traxxas store and I said my goal was to not buy another car, I got another car. So I'm going to reveal what that car is today. And we got the $60 Arma. If you're not sure what that $60 Arma is, that is the Arma Granite Voltage. And it was $60. It was a Black Friday special for 60 bucks. It arrived. So a lot of people are asking like, basically where's there is, how come I got mine so fast? Apparently some colors were in stock, some were aren't. So it may take a little while for you guys who ordered it and it's not in yet. I got, I ordered two, one of the ones that I had did order did come in quickly so yeah we got that and and that white box in the description not in the description in the comments tell, guys tell me what you think is in that white box the thing in that white box is probably the most valuable thing on a race car at least it holds its value the best guess what it is in the comments below tell me what you think it is oh man here it is my Traxxas Haas again I redid it and what I redid is I changed out so it did come with heavy duty arms originally but they were the black heavy duty arms I went with the green because I thought the green would look cool with the blue especially since I have green and blue look at that look at that look at that match oh man that looks good I also put the blue anodized GTRs these are the ones that I had on there these are the original anodized GTRs actually these are worth more about five dollars more but I thought this blue looked really cool especially with the little gold accents there with the green super cool another upgrade that i just got today and i know this seems really small but this is a big big deal i bought the serrated green anodized wheel nuts so if you look at the back look at how much serration is there versus stock which is that so basically it's like more than 50 percent more serration i don't even know if that's a word but these will stay on way better and that's super important because if they don't stay on it ends up looking like this. I don't know if you guys can see that if the camera is getting that. Um, see how this is kind of chewed up? The reason why this is chewed up a little bit is because this wheel came loose and there wasn't enough of the hex inside the wheel. And basically it almost stripped it all the way out. You definitely don't want, basically this thing, this little nut right here, if this comes loose and it strips out your wheel like that, it can cost you a pair of wheels, which is not cheap. So I'm gonna put the green ones on here it should look super freaking cool. Oh man, I got batteries charging already. I'm gonna go drive this today. Oh man, look at this. It's the little details. I know this is really small, super minor, but the green wheel nuts, like those are the little things I appreciate. Look, like when you're turning, oh, the aluminum anodized blue with the green. Oh man, this thing is freaking awesome. I can't wait to drive it. Okay, let's open up, let's open up the Arma don't know what to don't, don't know anything about it i seriously i saw it was 60 bucks and i was like sorry i gotta adjust the camera it doesn't look like y'all are looking at me i, I saw it was 60 bucks and, bucks and i was like how can you go wrong let's just order it and see what happens and uh i told my wife about it and get this my wife says you should order two order a whole bunch of them I'm like what i don't know why she said that maybe she wanted to give them for christmas gifts or something but nonetheless here it is we're gonna find out what it's like out of this box. Bam! The Arma Granite Voltage. I keep calling it granite. People keep making fun of me. Apparently it's granite. Uh, let's open this thing up. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of cheated. I kind I might have cheated and watched some videos on it before so I knew what to expect because I knew nothing about this car. And there it is. Just joking. They package these things up really well. See, here's the remote. The remote is exactly what I would expect from a cheaper, a cheaper RTR. Uh, this car, I believe, retails for 119. So it's not. I mean, it's cheap for a hobby grade car, but not crazy cheap. Here it is. Bam! Don't know what's in this box. See what's in this box. Looks like we got some uh, like little tools, some shock limiters. Not shock limiters. Some. Uh, Shock, shock collars. Some shock collars for your shocks to adjust your ride height. Uh, that's everything in there. Here it is, bam. It's actually, it's probably, what is going on? Like what's up with this 
remote. Look how it's angled. That's strange, but it doesn't stand up. It stands up weird. It's actually the size of the Haas. The Haas is a little bit bigger. Definitely the Haas is beefier. This thing isn't heavy. See what it looks like under the hood. I mean, for 60 bucks, how could you go wrong? Basically, the body and tires are worth 60 bucks. Bam! Also, it looks like it comes with the battery. So what I saw, it comes with the battery, guys. Wait, what is this? Oh, comes with an 1800 nickel metal hydride battery. So I saw a video, I don't remember who was the video, but I saw a video and it had these, um, basically the batteries for this tray. It was like lithium ion batteries, but this is fine. This works, we're, we're actually gonna run it on this. So I gotta charge this thing up, but it comes in this little tray and you put it in here. The speed control and everything look perfectly fine. Snaps in, there you go. Very simple RC car. Very much hobby grade. Looks like all these parts you can. Oh, the rebound is super slow. All these parts you can probably replace. You can probably upgrade. I don't know. I don't know anything about the market with these things, but for 60 bucks, you can't beat it. I can't wait to put it together and charge it and run it. I will charge it right now, actually. Let's see what's in this box here. I love it when companies put double A's in there because nothing's worse than getting a car and not having the double A's. Then you got to run to the store and get double A's. Here's the charger. We're actually going to charge this thing up. And we're not going to drive it in this video, but we'll be driving it really, really soon. All right. Got the battery on charger. We're going to drive this thing later. Hopefully, God, it gets dark so freaking early. Can't do anything after work is over. What do you think I bought the other day? I'll give you a hint. I didn't buy it brand new. It was a deal that came across. I had to get it. And this purchase is going to trigger some people. Sounds like I'm ready to go. This purchase is going to trigger some people. I need everyone to just calm down and I'll tell you why I bought it here in a little bit. But here it is. Ready? Bam! I bought another Traxxas Haas. I know that sounds weird. It's used. I bought it from somebody. The same guy I bought that super cheap X-Max from sold me this one. Apparently he drove it a couple times, didn't like it. This guy, his name, I won't tell you his full name, but it's, we'll go with Mike. His name is Mike. Super nice guy. He's just a hobbyist, likes to try things and he has the ability to try things and not like it. He didn't like this one and he sold it to me after he ran it, but I'll show you why I was so intrigued. He did run it a couple of times. It did flip over a couple of times. It is the blue and green. Again, it does have some scratches on it. I got a box of stuff over here. It does have some scratches on the body, it has some scratches on the front, but for the most part, I know this guy. He doesn't run it very much. He doesn't run very hard. And he didn't run it very much. If he told me he barely ran it, I know he barely ran it. So here it is. Looks brand freaking new. Look at the bottom. There's a little bit of scratching. A little bit of scratching on the front screws, which is perfectly normal. But that's not what intrigued me so much. It wasn't that I wanted new Haas. Is that it had this. It already had the blue anodized GTRs. That is a great upgrade. That's like a $70 upgrade. I've already had it on there, so I don't have to worry about that. And it also already had the high velocity drive shafts. So everyone, <laughs> if you've ever priced these out, these things are not cheap. They're basically $80 a set. Um, so it had $160 worth of drive shafts on it, and it already had the GTR. So $2,300 or 2,300, geez, that would've been a lot. $230 worth of upgrades on it already. Oh, and it had the cool rubber. Someone told me to get these two the cool rollers for the wheelie bar. So it had, let's just round it up, about $250 worth of upgrades on it. And I got it for less than what the car cost. So I think I got a great deal. I have some plans with this. I have this one that's got the green with blue. I kind of want to do this one blue with green. That would be cool. Or I'm gonna outfit this one with all techno stuff. But this four wheel drive tracks this platform. There's just a plethora of upgrades. I've got so many cool things I can do with it. I got plenty of things that I can do with this car. It was a no-brainer that I had to pick it up. But one last thing, another thing that it came with that made the deal even sweeter is this. It came with this. It came with all the drive shafts, brand new. So these drive shafts are not cheap. I believe they're like 15 bucks or something like that. I don't know. 
But basically, it came with all the original drive shafts and all the original shocks. So I got a full set of ultra shocks and a full set of drive shafts with it. That's not cheap. Uh, if I had to round it up, that's probably fifty dollars worth of stuff. So this stuff is good. I know I can use these shocks and these shock shafts on spec slash. I'm doing the whole spec slash clinic. We can use these parts. <coughs> these drive shafts are the good drive shafts. They can always be used. So I'm not going to tell you guys what I got it for because it triggers you guys. I don't know why y'all get so upset when I get such great deals, but I got a really good deal on this one. Got a whole bunch of cool plans for this and it should be a lot of fun. Well, I hope you liked this video guys. If you did smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on. Oh, I didn't, I didn't tell you guys what's in this box right here. This is the most valuable part on a race car. What's y'all's guesses in the comments below. I had to buy it. <clears throat> Bam. It's a transponder, guys. This is what's keeping a lot of people out of racing, and it sucks. This little piece right here, this is basically the, the little module that counts your laps as you cross the, the starting line. This is needed when you go race. These are universal. You can use them at pretty much any track, and they're super expensive. They're about $120. I like, there's there's a couple of different ones you can get. There's a $100, $100 one and then a $120 one. I prefer the $120 one because I've never skipped laps with this one. Um, there's a two wire, which is a two wire and there are three wire, but transponder, the reason why it's the most valuable part, because if you have your car, let's say you have this in your car, your race car, and your car sits on the shelf for three years, everything, your car's obsolete. It's basically worth nothing. That thing is worth a hundred dollars, even used. However, <laughs> however you look at it, you're spending a hundred dollars for a transponder. I found this one, uh, just randomly on Facebook and I was like, well, that's a good deal. Um, I think I got it for 75. Uh, he wanted 80. Uh, obviously, I had to try to haggle it down. I got it for 75. But these things you can sell for 100 bucks all day, every day. This was like a brand new one, so I had to get it. So now, if you liked the video, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you will see me next time. Later, guys.